I'm in the fight here. Ah. Couple months ago, a couple weeks, about two months. Let me turn this TV. And I, 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 let me turn this TV down. I, I, I got so much crap going on. Hey, hey, one second. Let me get this TV off here. Watching the crews, but my kid went to, kids went outside to play, and I just sat here. And you, you know, when you're a parent, you watch so much kids shows like you just. <laughs> but anyhow, a couple of weeks ago, I said that PJ Penn would not be returning to the ring, no matter what happened. I don't care how much training he was doing, how good he was progressing, no matter how good Ariel Hawani thinks he was doing, because, like I said before, the UFC code of conduct with the rape allegations against him. I, I I I followed the people on Twitter. I I I, guess, I think I spoke to at least seven or five people on Twitter that were involved in the allegations that live in Hawaii and read their tweets and corresponded with them. And from what I understand, they're saying it's a legit beef, legit charge, and there's more. It's an ongoing investigation, and there's more more to come about about BJ Penn's conduct with this with his former employees. A uh, girlfriend when he went to the house when the guy wasn't there, he and the guy had some beef. So apparently they're saying that BJ Penn went to the his the house when the guy was away and assaulted the guy's girlfriend. So because of those allegations, BJ Penn is pulled from the, the card and his comeback will be postponed. I knew that was going to happen. I said it was going to happen because not only do I read the UFC code of conduct when I read the contracts, I know the standards that the fighters are held to. Now, a while back, I believe both Rumble Johnson and Demetrius Johnson got had um, some domestic violence issues, and they had to have it cleared up and run through. Everything had to be, they, they, I mean, the UFC put them through the grill, really grilled them and made sure everything was squeaky clean before they could even step back in the ring. So with this rape allegation thing against BJ Penn, it's going to be a while before he come, comes back. Probably a trial is going to go forward. Then maybe after the trial, he's going to go forward. But by the time that's over, he's probably going to be maybe a year older. And it's harder for him to you, you, know, you, put, you put down a certain body, body mass and to train. And with his training schedule, the way he trains, I don't think he's gonna, his comeback is going to be good. It's not like Anderson Silva that trains constantly. I remember a while back when, when he had the belt. Uh, I forgot the name of his opponent. It wasn't Matt Sierra. It was another Matt. I can't believe it. I, I, I just watched a video with this guy. But either way, when he had the belt and, and he, he, he came back, he gassed up. His, his, his body wasn't up to par. He wasn't training as often as, as he should. And he wound up losing both of his belts like that. So I don't think he's, he trains every day consistently. Plus, he's a businessman that's running a business. And he, and. and his financial empire, so he doesn't have the time to train consistently like a, a fighter that's fighting on a regular basis. Um, I'll tell you the name of the, of the guy. It's not Matt Sierra. It's another Matt. Very popular guy. Short. Has the Captain America chin. It'll, it'll come to me soon. But nonetheless, the guy, even uh, his, 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 his last time he came back and he fought GSP, um, that was that was good. I believe the Vaseline thing may have, may, have, may have prevented him from winning, but he got a pound in. Then the last time, the time before that, he fought um, Frankie Edgar. Frankie Edgar like bashed him up real bad. So, so it's 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 you know it, it, it's a rough road for him back. If he was training consistently, like every single day, like a regular fighter, then I'd say yeah he'd have a good comeback. But this setback, I think, is gonna it's gonna, it's gonna be tied up for maybe a year and a half. Or maybe in the next nine to ten months before that issue get resolved. So he's definitely pulled from the card. Uh, man, sorry, sorry to hear that, BJ. What well, that's just the way it goes sometimes, man. All right, from the fight cheer, guys. I'm a fan. I love. I just oh man, I love to see him back in action fighting. But that's just the way it goes sometimes. I mean, the UFC has to do what it has to do to protect the brand and the reputation. All right, guys. Peace out.